guys, Ghulam Ahmed, Gene Activated. Today we're gonna talk about a question I get asked all the time. How do I lose stomach fat, okay? How do I lose fat from my stomach, okay? So I've said it many times, you can't target fat from one certain section. And if you wanna just lose fat from your stomach, you have to lose fat all over your body. Now, having said this, this is the latest research. There's one research study that has come out recently that says that maybe you can target fat, it's a theory. I will cover that in another video, so you have to stay tuned to watch that video. But up until now, according to my experience and my research, you can exactly target fat in the sense that I can say, I'm gonna say that, okay, you can target fat in just this area or in your arms or wherever you have a problem for your body. Now, how do you target stomach fat? Before we you know, dive into this topic, I wanna talk about why do we get all the fat stored on our stomach? Why is it that most, for most men and for women, the fat goes right to the stomach? Why does that happen? Why don't you get the same amount of fat that's on your stomach, in your face, or in your hips? You know, for some, they do. For men, usually, the fat goes right onto the stomach. For females, it goes to their breasts and their butt, and then it gets to their stomach. But for the most part, it'll just collect in your stomach. There's a very, very evolutionary reason for that. That means for millions of years, we've been collecting and storing fat on our stomach so that we can survive. Our bodies are designed to store fat, okay? We, our body likes to store fat, it wants to store fat, it uses it for energy. Because our body for millions of years has been used to knowing that the way things work, the way we get food is that we don't have it all the time. What happens is the men will go out and hunt, okay? If the hunt is successful, they will bring back an animal or whatever. If they're eating vegetables, that's fine. You're a vegan back in the day, wherever you are. But you're bringing it back, and now the whole family is going to eat. Okay, They're all going to fill their bellies as much as they can because the meat is going to be... not. You're not going to be able to store it unless you know how to preserve it. So you're going to eat it all, the whole village or the whole whatever family unit that you have. They're all going to eat that meat. And now for the next two to three days, you're not going to get any food depending on the success rate of the men that are going to go and hunt. Now say the next two to three days, you get another meal, you get, they were, the hunt was successful, okay, you're going to eat again, but now say it wasn't successful. You have to now wait five, sometimes even six, sometimes seven, sometimes a week without food. So the body is designed to then store the fat because it knows that there's not food coming for the next two to three days. So it's going to hold on to the fat so that it can use it as energy for the times where you don't have the food, where you're starving. You're using your fat stores so that you can survive. This is why we collect fat on our stomach, okay? Because it's designed, our bodies are designed to do that. Now, this was, you know, hundreds of years ago when we didn't have, you know, agriculture and, you know, the civilization that we have today, where food is literally at our fingertips, okay? Especially in North America, you know, we, nobody's really going that hungry unless you're homeless and, you know, there's certain, we're a very small population, but for the most part, you know, everybody can survive and we're all eating and we can have food at all times. Now that's the problem. Because now food is available so easily, our body still is designed to store it the way it was millions of years ago. So we still keep storing it back in our stomach. But the reason is we're just eating too much. We don't need to eat, the much, eat, eat that much. So we're overeating and now it's all being stored here. This is why most of it collects in your stomach because it uses it for insulation to stay warm. On top of that, this is the place where your body will take it from at all times whenever it needs it to refuel. So now that we've covered why is it that we usually store it all on our stomach is because of genetics and, and, and evolution for millions of years. So, and the big problem is that now we have food at all times, anytime that we want, which is not how it was supposed to be and it should be. You don't need to eat as much as you eat. The reason you're overweight is because you eat too much. Unless you have a chronic disease or you have a thyroid issue, you're eating way too much and you know it. That's why you're gaining weight. If you just stop eating less, you stop, you, you, you start losing weight. So, now that I've covered that, I want to talk about how is it that fat is actually used in our body as energy. The way it's used is whenever you need extra energy, your body will release, your, your brain will send a signal to your fat cells and tell them to release fat into the bloodstream so that you can use it as energy. When the energy is being used up by the tissues or whatever it is that needs the energy, once it's done, the leftover fat cells will go 
back into the bloodstream and it'll go back and be stored wherever it was. So it's like whenever you need it, your body releases it, it uses it, whatever is extra, if there is extra, and then it'll send it back. That's the mechanism how we use fat in our bodies. Which is also why I am strongly believe that you cannot target fat because your body is gonna release it wherever it wants to in the whole bloodstream. So that, that bloodstream runs all over your body. It's not gonna be like, okay, specifically just release it here. It's gonna release it everywhere and the fat cells are gonna go everywhere and they're gonna be used up wherever it is that they need them and they're gonna come back wherever it is that they need them. So you see what I mean? So now that we've covered that, why is it that sometimes you feel like you're losing weight but you feel like you're losing weight from everywhere else, but you're not losing it from your stomach. You still think that, you know, my stomach's yans, yans fat nijara. Stomach fat from here is not going away. The reason you feel that way is because you actually lose weight from everywhere. The reason you feel like you're not losing it from your stomach is because you started there to have the most fat from there to begin with, right? You're gonna lose fat from your fingers, shoes, like neck everywhere your, your, your ring size is going to get smaller once you start losing weight right you're losing fat from everywhere but because you don't have a lot of fat around your fingers you're not going to notice it that much but if you have you're losing the same rate of fat around your stomach as well but because your stomach was so much bigger to begin with you're not going to see a big difference unless you're taking pictures and actually measuring once you measure you'll notice that yeah you're actually also losing weight in your stomach it just looks like you're not now let's get to how to actually lose stomach fat okay it's very simple there is no shortcut, there is no get quick like you know diet fix or whatever it is that you are looking for, there is no apple cider vinegar, whatever quick detox you are looking for, it's none of that, okay? There is very simple two ways to lose stomach fat, okay? Number one is a calorie deficit, okay? Which means that you have to eat less calories than what you are eating on a regular basis to maintain the body that you have, okay? So our bodies need to have certain amount of energy that they need that it needs to use every single day to maintain itself to maintain the function that it has from the time that you wake up shower you know go to work do all the things at work come home and do all the things at home and you go to bed that requires energy so your body needs energy to do that whatever that base energy is you need to eat a little bit less than that if you eat less than that which is a calorie deficit it's less than what your maintenance calories are you will start to lose weight now, that's the first way to do it. You go in a calorie deficit. So for example, if you're taking 2,000 calories, okay, in a day, you're not gonna take, say, 1,500 calories. So you went 500 calories less. If you do that over a span of one week, you will lose one pound, okay? So, because it's simple math, 3,500 calories is equal to one pound. So 500 times seven is equal to 3,500. So in a span of one week, you will lose one pound. If you go on a calorie deficit of 500, you will lose that fat from throughout your body, okay? Not just your stomach, everywhere in your body. Now, you have to consistently do that in about a month's time, you will lose four to five pounds, okay? That's number one, calorie deficit. Number two, the second way to lose stomach fat or fat in, on your body is you have to expend some energy, exercise, which means spend more energy than what you are doing currently. Whatever you are doing currently is making you stay the way you are and if you're eating on top of that, you're going to be gaining weight, right? So if you want to lose the stomach fat, you have to now go on a calorie deficit, which is one, so eat less. On top of that, you should now exercise. If you exercise, lift weights, do cardio, you know, do anything physically active, play sports, whatever it is that you want to do that you can maintain. Now you're going to spend more energy on top of that, eat a little bit less. So your body is going to now start using its extra energy, which is in your, the fats, to now compensate, to fill up the energy gap. And that's how you're going to start losing fat from your stomach and everywhere else in your body because your body needs more energy now because you're using more. If you use more, it's going to need more. It's going to take it from whatever it already has. So those are the two very simple ways for you to be able to burn and lose fat from your stomach. Number one, calorie deficit. Eat less than your maintenance calories. Number two, exercise so that you can expend more energy and build some muscles and look better and that's it if you do both of them together calorie deficit and exercise it is the fastest way to lose stomach fat i hope that helped if you're new to the channel please subscribe share my videos with your friends 
and say something in the comment section if you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.